Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna take a look at these shoes. These are new in shoes. I'll take them out of the box, just gonna take out these shoes that I'm wearing. And then we'll show you what those are. These are actually Newton's first super shoes. So these right here are the Newton CF1s. So this is Newton's first carbon plated shoe. It's of course got the action, action reaction technology right there that we all love and uh, know. And then you got the carbon plate. Okay, I'll show you a closer up uh, when I take it out again after I run with it. But this is gonna be my first run with these shoes. They are brand new, white midsole. This is their Piba Newton midsole. This is also, like I said, the action reaction technology, the, the lugs at the front made for, they're called velocity lugs, so made for speed. And let's go try these on. Put away these shoes, and then we'll put on these Newtons. I haven't ran into them. I put them on, of course. But I haven't ran into them. And we'll put them on. So there it is. Very thin shoelaces. I might have to do the runner's loop, but I'll do it just normal for now. All right, shoes are on. Let's go for a feeling with these shoes they are bouncy they definitely have a rocker motion to it but like in the middle especially where those uh, lugs are the action reaction technology that they call it you can feel the bounce and I'm assuming the lugs and the carbon plates work together to give you the extra bounce so I'm gonna do some speed with these shoes because this is these shoes are made for speed I'm usually a uh, back of the pack slow runner so not doing too much speed work usually doing a run walk but I'll go a little faster to test out these shoes because you could you could tell just just walking in them that they're made for speed so I'm going to uh, turn on my watch And let's go. Let's go. Yeah, definitely feel those lugs. These are a four millimeter drop. So they are 34 millimeters at the back, 30 millimeters at the front. Really ideal to strike the midfoot with this, especially with these lugs. I think they're like eight or nine ounces, maybe eight. I'll have all the details on the run, but let me run on it and I'll put all the info on the screen right now. did half a mile on the shoes they are feeling really bouncy I'm gonna tell you like the width of these shoes I've always loved the width of Newtons Newtons were probably the first people to talk about having shoes that were the shape of your foot so I feel like Newtons has always had very wide shoes like they're never near never had that issue so like most of the super shoes that I've tried out Nike Vaporfly or Alpha Fly uh, which other ones the, even the Reeboks that I had and then the Adidas ones are actually pretty comfortable but the uppers on those weren't that great but these feel like they are a nice comfortable wide shoe they don't feel like they're overly tight like a lot of the super shoes that you wear the carbon plated shoes that you have so so far so good I'm liking these uh, definitely made for speed I could feel 
them wanting to go really fast. Uh, it is a little bit maybe unstable because of the stack height 34 millimeters to 30 and then the four millimeter drop like I said is what Newton is known for a low low millimeter drop uh, I normally run in the di Newton distances which are my ratio uh, for, for speed and now I think these are gonna be something that I'm gonna look for the CF ones the the uh, name of these aren't the greatest I wish they called it something cooler I mean they have Newton distance they have Newton gravity I wish they went with a Newtonium term but they didn't the colorway on this one uh, I'm not a fan of the white midsole uh, but you do feel a lot of energy return with these two so uh, I'm very impressed with these shoes so far uh, this is, of course is the first run with these and I'll definitely do some more with these shoes uh, but let's take a look at the carbon plate so if you see the carbon plate right there this is Newton's first carbon plated shoe and uh, yeah so he's got the carbon plate that works together with the lugs over here that's gonna help you go faster and uh and they're, they're they're really nice so far so far lots of mosquitoes guys mowing behind me so we'll go for more of a run and i'll tell you a little bit more of my thoughts on the shoes i am sweating my butt off it is texas summer has hit early so let's run some more <laughs> Let's run with the shoes. This is about a 755 pace. So fast for me, slow for a lot of y'all. But shoes feel great. They feel light. I know, I think they are a little bit heavier than other super shoes, but they feel pretty light. And you definitely get that spring from the lugs and the carbon plate. You definitely feel it more when you're just walking around them, but you also feel a little bit bounce with these. I, of course, cannot run that fast for that long. So, I have to do sprints, but so far, first run, first thoughts, comfortable shoe, places, I'll probably do the lace lock or the heel lock for this because they're a little bit long. Uppers feel nice and comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to run races with these shoes. I don't want to run too much, so I'm just going to do this mile in them. And then I'll save these for whenever I am doing some tempo work or race day paces work because I don't want to ruin these shoes. They do come in at about, I think, 230 to 240. So cheaper than your other super shoes out there. But I'm gonna finish off this run and I'll tell you a little bit more of my thoughts. You've pretty much heard it all. We'll go back to the truck and I'll tell you everything else. <laughs> made it back to the truck let's take the shoe off i am impressed i'm telling you these shoes right here again show you guys the lugs right there they're they they are not as like lug forward as the distances these don't have as much as a aggressive lug as the distances uh but they, they're still there you definitely feel them they have the carbon plate over here and uh He's supposedly also 100% vegan, so if that helps for you guys. But I'm impressed by these shoes. I'm excited to run more miles in them. $230, $240. Let's see the actual price, just so I get that right for you guys. It is $230, so $230. Good price for some super shoes. We'll see how they work on an actual race. And I'll definitely do that on the full review whenever I do that after, you know, 50 miles or so. And then 
I'll do a full review on these shoes. But so far, thumbs up for me. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these shoes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.